this is this is what happened is I walked into a bookstore, the We Book Inn on White Ave, and I was kind of like I'm looking at the romance section. I'm like, well, there's like eight rows of romance, so I don't know where to begin. Um, but I, I did so I did find another cowboy one. You know, like this is uh, called How the Cowboy Was One. And uh, you can just pitch a tent right off that cover. I, I I am illiterate unless it's cowboy. Yeah. So so I was flipping <laughs> through it, but like I didn't. Uh, yeah, I just the, I couldn't find a lot of steamy in there. So I eventually sheepishly went to the guy and I was like, Hey, like, do you? I, I need some weird erotica, like baffling erotica. And he's like, Yeah, we don't have a lot of that. I was like, Well, you kind of have like eight rows of this. And he's like, No, 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 that's romance. Like, that's romance. romance. And then there's erotica. Yeah. Because the like the romance novels tend to be all like implication, and the erotica has got the scene. So because, he's like, Let me show you. It could be called. Yeah. He's <laughs> he was kind of like, Yeah, let me grab you some stuff that's like in the back. Um, Did he have some Chuck Tingle? I, here's what he had. So this one. Uh, I was really excited about it. It's called The Plains of Passage, and it's kind of like a... I think it's like Neolithic shit. So he used the phrase turgid caveman dong to pitch it. Turgid caveman dong. The oh man of the bookstore said yeah. this? God, I'm yeah. so aroused. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, this is going to be amazing. And like, Has he read it? <laughs> I dove into a bunch of these pages. I couldn't find anything. It's just people talking about, like, the wolves are coming. Uh, but, like, not even in that way. Uh... Alex flipped up the book and found a sex scene on his first try, but there's only one we found in here. <laughs> he, he is good at that. Then we've got this one. This is like, this is a Globe and Mail best book. Like, this thing has won awards, I guess. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's like about these people, I think, going on like a honeymoon and they have really bad sex. Interesting that it would be a bestseller. Yeah, so it's... There's, <clears throat> you mean it's relatable. There's like one yeah. main yeah, yeah. scene I've marked bad out here, and it sells. is baffling and then we have like this book is like radioactively horny oh this is the one that you said is just like literally everything and yeah. that name is familiar <laughs> does she and, make other books it says Anne rice writing as a n so i okay. think it was like writing erotica under a pseudonym yeah because like, Anne rice is a familiar name to me yeah that, that's the reaction i've gotten from a few people saying like oh Anne rice that's like a whole author <laughs> yeah that's a whole, that's is, a whole entire author. author is Anne rice just like a romance Novelist, I and then think so. You tell me. We could Google this live. Yeah, on I mean, like so. she, she. I remember her from something like relatively well known. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, so right. I, I think the guy did explain it to me. I think he was saying this was like before she got big, and then later was like, all right, I think someone's gonna ride these coattails. I don't know. I low key think she wrote. Did she write Fifty Shades? It's an American right? author of gothic fiction, erotic literature, and Christian liter literature. What, what, did, what did she write? Christian literature. She's best known for her series of novels, The Vampire Chronicles. Ah, Books from it. the Vampire Chronicles were the subject of two film adaptations, Interview with the Vampire and Queen of the Damned. Interview okay. with Vampire. Yeah. She oh, wrote okay. Interview with Vampire. She's a heavy hitter. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I was pretty sure I, remind, <laughs> I remembered her from somewhere. <laughs>